I believe it's recorded. Okay. Hello, followers. I have time right now to record video. Usually I'm always busy. So fast I come to the yard, pick up my container, chiquita bananas, and uh, I always do that. Ten years I do that. I love that because my house 25 miles from this yard so I don't need to stay on the road like in other drivers. I'm lucky. Three days at home. Every week, three days home. I have only two trips a week. One back, one back. Okay? So I have time right now because I found the... I make pretty inspection and I found the flat tire on the chassis. And I want to make video of this for you who want pool containers. So I have experienced 10 years with these containers. Chiquita banana. So let's uh, let's uh, beginning. Okay, I open my truck. Yeah, I, that yard is mess. So, but I try always keep my truck clean. But it's not important right now. Okay, what you have to do? What you have to to have? What you have to have? for to pull containers uh, cutter bolt cutter all the time you you must have that okay bar very important because containers or oh, to open door container is very very hard so you must to have that bar okay hammer why I use rubber hammer? Because you, when you begin um, close your container door, that's hard. And before I used a metal hammer, but that is uh, that metal hammer iron. A lot noise on my ears. No good. So rubber is working as well. So let's do next one. Okay, so that's I have generator. Anytime I, for example, my battery down, I have, I used battery, previous battery, I used five years uh, original from Freightliner. Right now, another one, so a new one. Okay, that one you need. Uh, so, ah, uh, yes. Strip, very important, okay? Very important, you have must strip. Strip well, no matter. I used white color uh, for 10 years. I never have DOT problem. I have inspections, DOT stop me for any reason. No, no question, you can use white one too, but it must be visible, this side or that whole bottom, but it must be visible, very important. Cord must be secure because if you do not secure core, this is I talk about. Uh, I off right now container uh, generator to make that video. Okay, cord must be secure very well because if you, when you drive, some people, some driver, I've watched that few times. I mean more than few times. I mean maybe ten times more that uh, dancing. And the cord is a uh, uh, tire catch cord and broken that cord and you got it. And you miss load because the uh, temperature is falling and you have trouble with that one. Okay. Uh, that's a big mistake. Uh, this is my Freightliner Cascadia 2019. Okay. And this is, I made big mistake, huge mistake. Never, never order big huge truck for containers why because a 40 feet container you cannot slide to rear tandem it's always secure okay always secure 40 feet no slide but right now this low 38 uh, 
38,000 pounds. Okay, and all weight is got on this uh, on rear axle of tractor. Okay, okay, rear axles. Okay, tractor. So unit truck with uh, unit. This one, this unit is 18,000 pounds. Okay, and this is mistake. My first mistake is a long frame because I love to drive. I love to drive smooth, so I order long frame. This is additional weight, no good. Frame for content must be as short as possible. Maybe this is two, this is 255 inch frame base. You need plow probably 234 or 240. Okay, you will be fine. So another one for container. Uh, do not order like I order. Uh, this is a huge, huge one. This is Cascadia 126. Okay, and you need mid roof. Mid roof make less weight. Okay, that one I ordered because I drive with my son. But my my son already teenager. He doesn't want anymore drive with me. But he was he was little one. He has fun little one. He was happy driving with me. So because I ordered with two beds that uh, tractor. That's good Freightliner Cascadia. I take care. Of I just make alignment. You know what? I just make alignment. Yes, uh, Friday. Uh, you have to important. Do you see? They put a new one, uh, a little bit. Uh, uh, clearance, yeah, that... They, I, man, I just three axle make alignment to be happy, okay? Okay, what additional? Okay, short frame you have to do, mid-roof, and... Uh, and also, this is a 126 Freightliner Cascadia. This engine, 15 liters, 505 horsepower. Okay, I love that. You can order uh, 116 Freightliner Cascadia. They have 116 and 126. You can order 116, but it will be uh, less weight. And uh, but they put. On your Freightliner Cascadia 13 liters because they do not install 15 liters engine on 116. I asked them please make for me 116. I want to order new one but uh, it's they give me for my good tractor. Man that is I take care of this. I oh my gosh everything is grease everything I take care of. see every each 16,000 miles I replace oil. What manual said 26 or 40,000 miles replace oil? No, no, no. 16,000 miles I replace change oil. It's it. Uh, I take care of this tractor very, very, very. I love that. This is my horse. Okay, I am Ukrainian guy. I have experience working with tractors from 17 years from Ukraine. Okay, but I working with farm tractors. But now in America from 2000, I drive trucks. Okay, so about engine. Yes, you cannot put 15 liters on 116 Cascadia. Okay, 116 Cascadia going only with 13 liters 13 liters i promise you i oh my god i i tell you 13 liters not enough for containers okay not enough yeah uh, okay you can uh, you can save your engine by gears when you are going uphill it's fine you can use uh, gears you can use uh, 13 liters if you want but I want 15 liters. So for containers, of course, it's better short frame, mid-size roof, and uh, 116 is better for containers. Okay, that's what I want to tell you. That one. Uh, it looks like I said you everything. I believe. Yeah. Maybe. I'm, uh, maybe I will remember something. 
but I just suggest to you what I have my experience. Yes, that one strips. Uh, yeah, another one I forgot. Very important. Uh, very important. Uh, very important. Make pre trip inspection. Okay, very important to grease your fifth wheel all the time. Before each trip, before each trip, I grease my uh, fifth wheel because very high weight, very, very high weight. In, and that one, if this is not greased, it will be eat your steering tire, okay? So you won't save your steer tires. You need grease your fifth wheel and make alignment. I mean, maybe once a year or once in two years. Another, uh, always check, uh, I don't know what containers, maybe you have your own chassis, I don't have my own chassis. I pick up containers already on chassis. So, very important to check your brakes all the time, man. That's all the time, your tires, very important. That, uh, I come in today, uh, and uh, what I want to show you, you must have if you're professional, if you're professional like me, you must have in your tractor all the time. Oh. The hose, okay? Very important. This is extra if Sunday electric happened, I can change that, okay? The hose for air to put air in tires. Okay, I put air in that tires and I found, uh, first one I found low pressure on rear axle when I make pre-tip inspection and I put air, uh, when I put air, that was leak over here. So right now I call to service uh, Google, I mean, oh, sorry Google, Goodyear will be coming because this uh, uh, company, Chiquita, they have account with Goodyear. They will come and they replace tire for me. Yeah, that's what I said to you. Very important. Use strips to lock that. I saw, oh my God, from 2000 I drive on truck. I have, maybe I saw maybe 20 times or 30 times when guys lose containers. They forgot lock container that's very important man that's very important lock container to your chassis if you do not lock you can oh my god on the on the curve very easy container is uh, always uh, loaded to the to the top it's very easy just roll over always clean your tail lights like i clean today wipe that because uh, Sometimes cops, if your lights is dirt, they will stop you and they will give a ticket or warning. You need to wipe your tail lights because it must be see very well when you're on the road, okay? Yeah, that's check. That's very, that's why container is very heavy to open because seal. I do not talk about uh, dry container. Dry container is easy to open because they, they, but this one has seal too. I see. But I, I pull a couple times uh, dry container. It's not hard like this one. That one has seal here, seal inside, and that because it must be keep temperature, okay? So that's why I use a bar to open that doors and hammer to close that. It's very heavy. Okay, that's what I tell you. I use, uh, I share my experience to you. If you want, if you want to pull reefer, uh, reefer containers, that's I uh, just just share my experience to you okay it's free for you free